Hello everyone, Dusty Flight Guy here, and today I'll be showing you how you can install Altstore and Dolphin on iOS 15 Pro and higher. Right, to start off with, the tutorial will first be on Mac, but then we will do Windows later on. If you want to see Windows, skip to this time. It is a lot easier on Mac OS, however. Right, to start off with, you're going to want to head to the site, altstore.io, and it should say all this. Then you want to press Mac OS. Then you want to open it, and it will say Alt Server is an app created by Safari. Are you sure you want to open it? Press Open, and now we can minimize this page. And then, as you can see up here, Alt Store is open now. So now you're going to want to press Install Mail Plugin, and it will either come up or it won't, because sometimes it will already have installed it. But you want to open up your mail, then go Preferences. Then go to Manage Plugins, then go Alt Plugin Mail Bundle and press Apply and Restart Mail. This isn't going to hack your mail or anything. All it's doing is allowing a server to be up for only you. No one can connect to it. Everything's completely secure and only you have access to it. Alright, so now I actually think we might be ready to install. So once the, you've done all these steps, you're going to want to get your device. For example, I will be using an iPad. I will download it now. All right, now, so once that is installed, we are completely ready to uh, download Alt Store and Dolphin. So now you're going to want to get a cable. Let me get mine. Alright, so now that we are ready to install, you're going to need cable and your device, of course. But uh, I don't know how you're going to connect it. <clears throat> for example, for me, I'm using iPad Mini 6, so I have to use USB-C and a USB. Any cable should work, as long as there's data transfer, and I'm just using a Nintendo one. So if you have a Nintendo cable, it should work. Alright, it is plugged in. Now let me plug it into the iPad. And it might say, do you trust this device? You're going to want to press yes, trust this device. And you can see that it is connected because you should see at the top right that it is connected and say like connect to all that stuff. Now we can go to Alt Store, then go install Alt Store, then click your device and then sign in. Of course, I cannot show you this, but this will not go to anyone else other than Apple and uh it's literally only because how this works is it pretty much tricks uh your device into thinking you develop these apps you will not get banned alt store is already installed on another device are you sure you want to do this continue so if you've tried to install it on a previous device it will say that but that's not a problem there's no limits so well there is a limit to one alt store per per like pc or mac os unfortunately and as you can see <coughs> oh my voice as you can see here alt store is downloaded so now we've got that and now let's switch to windows to download it all right now we on to windows <clears throat> so as you can see here we just go to the exact same site and you press download alt server for windows then you should install a zip you're going to press open file then you can just straight up open it you don't need to do anything you don't even have to extract it Go next, 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 yes, and then it's installed. It's that, it's that simple. But there is, however, a catch. When you open it, it will ask you to download iTunes and probably iCloud. And I'm going to leave the links to that. Make sure you do not download the Microsoft uh, Store version as those don't work. So once it is open, as I don't think I can show iTunes being installed, uh, but it's then you just it's just a matter of connecting your device and downloading it to your device alt store so once you're in just download it you're gonna have to press trust on your ipad or ipod there we go showing my storage that means it is connected so i can go install alt store caleb's ipad again i have to sign in you can use a burner account if you'd like, by the way. And install.
and just apps installed. And, yep, okay. Installing alt store to my iPad. All right, now we just have to wait, and I'll be back once it's installed. Oh, it is installed. Uh, I guess I'm back instantly. And it's that simple. Now I'll show you how to install Dolphin. Now let's download Dolphin. So we're going to want to go into Safari, search up Dolphin iOS download. And you go Dolphin iOS home. This might not be the real one. Let's see here. It is the real one. Got it. And then we're going to want to scroll down. We're going to go to download version 3.11.ipa. So press download. And it should begin downloading. The servers are very slow, but I've already pre downloaded it, thankfully. So now it will say untrusted developer. So you can fix this by going into settings, scrolling down to general, and then scroll down to VPN and device management. And then you can press my account, trust, trust. And then that's done. So we can open up alt store now. Allow, allow. I just give it all permissions. It doesn't spam you. And then Dolphin iOS, let's just download this from my iCloud as I pre-installed it. I don't want to wait for the download for this tutorial. Alright, so it is downloaded, so now it's connecting. And now it's the important time we talk about JIT. After this is installed, this isn't a sponsor. JIT sounds like some weird YouTuber sponsor, but I promise it's not. Um, how Dolphin works is it needs a thing called JIT. And... There are many ways to do this. I've figured out it's the easiest to do if you use um, a Mac and the beta or the beta version of Alt Installer or Alt Server. And basically, what that will do is you can quickly just press uh, Enable Jet, and it will enable Jet for your device, and then you don't have to do anything strange. But there are many other ways. I don't think I can show a lot of the ways because it probably is quite sketchy. But you can do, I believe you can do it through Xcode. I believe ETA Prime might have made a video. If I can find it, I'll link it. And basically what it does is it just says, yeah, this device isn't pirating or anything. So you have to do that, unfortunately. And I will be using the macOS version just for, just for easiness. And I'll be back once Dolphin is downloaded. Alright, so Dolphin iOS is installed, but I'll be back once I've done this all again. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have to be back on the Mac. So now that I've re-downloaded it on, um, on Mac so that I can do Jet, we're going to open up Dolphin iOS and I'll ask you, Analytics, do you authorize Dolphin to report information to Dolphin's developers? I'd press yes because it, does, it doesn't do anything and it warns you about non-jailbreaking. But that doesn't matter because we have ways around that. Right, so you are going to need your ROMs. Make sure to only play ROMs you actually own. I have to say that. Whether I mean it or not is up to you. But you have to doubt, you have to own them. I own all my games. Alright, so let's try Super Mario Sunshine. That's a good one. And now it is downloaded. So let's open this up. And it'll say, Dolphin iOS would like to find and connect to devices on your local internet. Press OK. It's waiting for JIT. So how I'll be enabling it is I will be pressing this at the top right and go enable JIT and then Dolphin iOS. And look, now it is successfully enabled and I am successfully playing it. And this isn't a joke. You can use controllers. So now that that's all done, let's see some gameplay. Mm-hmm. 